Look, y'all. Another one. Those are aliens. Those are aliens that come in the same area. The same area. Look at that. That is. Those are aliens coming down here, y'all. Look at it's coming down the same direction. Oh, it's breaking up. Oh, it's six, it's eight, it's nine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, look. Look at that. They stop. They stop. Look at that shit. Those are aliens. Sorry, I'm trying to record it. Aliens. Aliens. Oh, they cut the lights off. Aliens. Y'all need to be shooting that. Y'all need to be shooting this shit right here. And they just cruise. They looking at us. They dividing. They dividing up. We getting invaded. Those are not for. Look at that shit. They are sitting. Y'all need to be calling damn news. They come down to the. Oh, they come to Earth. They're coming to Earth. Oh, they coming faster. Oh shit. Look, they fly towards each other. They fly. To, oh my God. Look, they moving in for formation. They just standing there. Officers, do something about that. What the fuck? Y'all not gonna do nothing. They can't do anything. Rick, don't give me your face though. Oh, that is not planes, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> Those are not planes, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at that shit. Look at that shit, dude. They're going in weird directions. Look at that seven. Upside down. Are real. Yep, UFOs are real. Clarity, <laughs> dude. Hey. Three point two megapixels. Hey. 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 Hey.
all right, country to country, they're seeing these sightings of, in their mind, what they call UFOs, what they call aliens. When UFO is unidentifiable flying object because they can identify it. They see it, but they can't tell you what it is. But the prophets of the Lord, all right, the men that are in lead with Yahweh, which is the Most High's name, Yahweh Shai, which is the Son's name, they have given us understanding on earth of what they are, all right? And they've given us the spirit to be able to break them down in the scriptures so that other people, okay, of the Israelites, all right, may understand, and not only the Israelites, the, the other nations, so we can tell them their downfall. Because their downfall is, is is very close. All right, it's happening. Okay, all these wars and rumors of wars are happening for their downfall. All right, and the Israelites to rise under the power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. So back to those videos. They're screaming, you know, and and if you can tell in the first video, you can tell that that's a so-called Negro. That's an Israelite. All right, and he has no knowledge, no wisdom of what he's looking at, all right? Because he's going by the influence of Hollywood. He's going by the influence of what the white man has pushed upon us for years. That if something comes from another realm beyond us and enters down into our realm, it has to be a slimy being alien or it has to be bad, all right? But in actuality, that's a sign for the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel, the holy people, the same people who went through the split sea with Moses. Okay? You make up those people. Before you were took over by the so-called white man, all right, you had an identity, and that that is what your identity is, according to the scriptures. All right? Now, those people have no knowledge of what they're seeing. So they automatically assume alien. They automatically assume Independence Day. Anything but the angels. Anything but God has something to do with it. All right? So I'm going to go into scriptures. I'm going to prove to you that not only are those angels, not only are, is what they're seeing are angels and are the angels of God, but... The Lord is going to be amongst those angels at his second coming. I'm going to start with Psalms uh, chapter 104. All right. Psalms chapter 104. I'm going to start from the top. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Who lay up the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot. You hear that? Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Because in other scriptures in the Bible, all right, it symbol it uh it calls the chariots symbolically a cloud. Because a cloud, as you see when you walk outside, the white fluffy cloud, it hovers in the sky. Okay, and it moves smoothly, okay, in the sky. All right. So those chariots, which angels are within those chariots, which you're going to see as more scriptures that I read, the angels of God are dwelling within those chariots. OK. And they're hovering. And that's what they're seeing in the, in the videos. OK. In those sightings, they're seeing it just hover in the sky. OK. And they don't know what it is. That's why, you know, it's leaving their spirit at all. Because they can't explain it themselves. All right. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Verse four. Who maketh his angels spirits. And his ministers a flaming fire. It's not what they're seeing like a flaming fire. The color of a flaming fire. Exactly. That's what they're seeing. All right. And there's in every video that you see. At the beginning of this video, you see that it's like a flaming fire hovering in the sky, 
like a cloud would hover. All right. So read four again. Who maketh his angels spirits. Like I said, there are spirits within those chariots. A chariot, okay, like our chariot is our car, what we drive around every day. The angels, okay, what they're maneuvering in is the angels' chair, and they're in the mix of it maneuvering those chariots, okay? Maneuvering their heavenly vehicles, okay? And read it again, who maketh his angels' spirits and his ministers a flaming fire, all right? Now we're going to go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 4. Ezekiel chapter 1, starting at verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. A great cloud, once again, is symbolically uh, uh, putting it as a cloud, all right? And a fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it. Now, Going back to those videos. And one of the videos uh, at the beginning, you really see the brightness. It really starts to shine and really sparkle through. And that video was uh, captured in India, all right, in East India. You know, you hear him saying, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool right now to them. But when the Lord come back, it ain't going to be so cool because they're going to be in a horrible case. And the scriptures is going to explain that uh a little later in the video. So let me read that again. A great cloud and a fire enfolded in itself. Okay. And a brightness was about it. And that's what, and that's what it looked like. All right. In the video, it was, it was very bright and a fiery color. You can keep reading. And out of the mix thereof, as the color of amber out of the mix of the fire. Right. It had a fiery amberish glow. See, the scriptures don't lie, okay? The word explains things, but the people of the world, the majority of people is who don't understand, okay? Read it again. And a brightness was about it, and out of the mixture of, as the color of amber, out of the mix of the fire, okay? Very clear, cut, and dry. When you look at those videos, and there's a lot more of those videos, okay? If you research, you can find more and more, all right? They're seeing pretty much the, they're, they're seeing the exact same thing, but in different parts of the world, okay? A bright, amberish, fiery, fiery, hovering something, you know, in their mind. It's just something. They don't know what it is, all right? Let's skip down to verse 13. All right, we're going to read verse 13 and 14. As for the live as for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. Once again, that orange, amberish, fiery glow. So, how many times does it have to explain it? Okay? And it, you know what? And it and it's very comical, man, going to these different videos or these sightings. And you read the comments, man, and, and these people, these people are beyond stupid, man. Oh, that's just a, that's just a flying lantern from, uh, from China. They always shoot them up and they go everywhere. No, man, it's not a flying lantern, man. Okay. You can easily look at these videos and see that what's hovering has a spirit within itself that's controlling it. That's appearing, disappearing, glowing, uh, glowing very loud, dimming. OK, you can see that within these videos and within these sightings around the world. So, like I said, it's very clear. Let me start from the beginning again. Verse 13. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like the burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. How does a lamp look? It's very bright. OK, it's so bright that when you turn it on now, you can see once before it was dark in your room or whatever you're at. So once again, it's showing you that it's very, it's a, it's a bright, light, orangish, lampish, fiery, cold, amberish color. All right. So it says their appearance was like a burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures. Oh, it went up and down. Oh my goodness. 
Now, when you go back, once again, I'm going to refer back to the, the East Indian one, okay? When you saw it really glowing, really the brightest, all right? It said it went up and down amongst the creatures. So, did not on that video that that fiery glow shine and like go up and down the hovering chair, it went up and down, okay? And it was just shining and dimming and shining in just like very in a loud, bright manner, all right? So you can't, I mean, you can't get around that, all right? So it went up and down among the living creatures, okay? Once again, the living spirits, the angels, and the fire was bright. Ooh, you can't, nobody can gainsay. Now, if you want to gainsay, do what you want to do. Be ignorant, okay? Choose to be ignorant. But as I'm reading, once again, it's explaining it clear. All right? See, the prophets are all around the globe right now, man, speaking this truth, okay? Waking up the 12 tribes of Israel, telling them the true identity and telling them that what you're seeing in these videos is our hope. It's our salvation. It's a sign of our salvation. All right? It's a sign of our salvation. So you're supposed to be happy about that. But as you see in the first video, shoot them. Shoot them. Cops, what you going to shoot them? They're invading us. Okay? And that ain't nothing, man. That's just the Lord, okay, allowing the angels to, to, to show themselves here and there as a sign. But ultimately, man, they're going to they gonna, they gonna come down and flood the whole sky along with the Lord on who you call Jesus, which once again, his name is Yahweh Shai. Let's keep reading. And out of the fire went forth lightning. Okay? Now, there's videos. What does that mean? Okay? There's videos um, which you can look up which, where it captures... Um, one of these chariots, okay, one of these angels, it captures it dismantling a nuclear warhead. And how did it dismantle it? It shot, like it, it shot a beam of lightning out of it and burnt the warhead up and the warhead fell down and was smoking on the video. Go look it up. UFO dismantles a warhead. Now, speaking of the brothers, the ones that are awake, I'm sure y'all have seen that video, but for the ones who have it, that's the name of the video. Go type it, all right? Because as we know, um, there's people still waking up of our people, okay? Coming back to the Father and coming back to the true identity and really realizing that we are in this condition because the Most High put us in this condition, but He is going to save us from the same condition that we're in, all right? Um... Verse 14, and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Right. That's why you see uh, it disappearing, reappearing, popping up here, popping up there. All right. And and that it does it so fast because, man, it's it's the power of the most high. It's the power of your and your shy, man. A power that's beyond us, man. We're like, like it says in the, in the scriptures, we're like grasshoppers, man. The earth is the most high footstool. We're like grasshoppers. Go outside, go, go find a grasshopper and look upon it. That's the most high God looking upon us, man. We're nothing compared to the power, man. Okay? And you have to always realize that, man. Okay? Speaking to the Israelites, speaking to you so-called Negroes, okay? Native American Indians and, and so-called Latinos, man. Because you are the you are the holy people. Okay, so the most high is speaking to you. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go from there to Isaiah 62, verse 1. For Zion's sake, Zion is another name for Israel, alright? The 12 tribes of Israel. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem, which is another symbolic name for Israel, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So you have the city of Jerusalem, but Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, which is a heritage of people, is called Jerusalem too, throughout the scriptures. All right? So it says, and for Jerusalem's sake, 
I will not rest. Right. The Lord ain't going to. Why? Because he knows that we are, we are in a horrible case as a people. He knows that we are in cap, and still in captivity under the devil. Okay? The Lord didn't hold his peace when we were in captivity under the Egyptians. Okay? And he rose Moses up and Aaron, all right, to guide us through. And he split the Red Sea and we went through. He didn't hold his peace. He eventually, okay, saved us out of that captivity in Egypt, which we were there for 400 years. All right? Well, America's the new Egypt. Okay, we got sent in slavery again for our transgressions, for us being rebellious people. All right? Go back to the scripture. And for and for Jerusalem's sake, I would not rest, meaning he's going to make these prophecies come to pass so we can get out of here. All right? Until the righteousness therefore go forth as brightness in the salvation, all right, the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. So that's a sign for us, man, to get out of this captivity and be saved, okay, and not be destroyed because the Lord is coming to judge, man. He's coming to judge the earth, okay? He He's angry, man, <laughs> okay? And the ones of our people, of the Israelites that wake up, okay, and realize what time it is, you you are the ones, you, you are the elect. You are the chosen ones out of our people that's going to be saved. The rest of our people are going to die because why? They didn't want to return. Okay? They're, they're going the same way they've been going, okay, because they love this world, doing the same thing that God has put in slavery in the first place. All right? So they ain't going to make it. So read that again. Until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, once again, to go that brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Do you hear that? So the angels, along with the Lord, are going to come, okay, make an epic entrance, okay, like they show in these movies, an epic entrance to save the Israelites. But only a select few, the elect. As it goes, uh, as it says in the scriptures, the elect, elect, elect is about a remnant, not the whole house of the Israelites, but a remnant part that's going to make it because they're going to have faith and they're going to believe and they're going to believe the prophets, which ultimately believing the prophets is believing the most high because he's speaking to the prophets. All right. But once again, you're going to have rebellious people of our people that want the most high to come out of this high place to speak to them face to face to tell them that all these things are going to happen. No, he's going to use his men to do it. And if you don't like it, you just ain't going to make it, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to receive a harsh judgment, all right? Thus says the Lord, okay? So from there, I'm going to go to... Uh, now, I'm going to prove uh, from here that the Lord is going to be among them, man. The Lord is going to be among the angels, Okay? And when he left, he's going to return the same way he left. Now, let's go to that. To that. Okay. And we're going to start at Acts chapter 1, verse 6. All right. And this is the disciples asking the Lord. Okay. Yahweh, asking Yahweh Shai. All right. Will he now restore the kingdom? Because they thought during that time, they wanted the kingdom to be established then. They wanted Israel to come and be ruler over the earth, the whole world, and the kingdom to be here. But it wasn't time yet. All right? So let's read and, and see what the Lord told them when they, when they asked. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, they asked Yahweh Shai, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? But it wasn't time yet. All right? Because uh, there, there were more prophecies to happen. Huge prophecies, okay? And one of those prophecies, those huge prophecies was was us as a people going into slave ships, okay, the Atlantic slave trade, and being brought over here in slavery and serving the so-called white race in slavery, all right? Verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times for the seasons which the Father hath put in his power, own power, right? At what time for them to fully understand you? Verse 8, for you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses 
prophesy unto me both in Jerusalem and all of Judea, okay, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, breaking down the uttermost part of the earth, that's a whole other topic, okay, which goes into reincarnation, all right? That's a whole other topic, so I'm not going to get into that. But as you see, he's speaking to them. And he's he's telling uh, the disciple these things, all right? Verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud. They got that cloud again. And a cloud received him out of their sight. So that a cloud, speaking of, of a white fluffy cloud, which we see when we go outside, No. Once again, as I read in the scriptures before, the cloud is symbolic for the chariots, okay? The chariots of God. What are in the chariot? Spirits. What are those spirits? Angels, okay? What do those angels look like? A burning light coal of fire, a burning lamp, a fire enfolding itself, an amberish light color, okay? So that, so what they're seeing in the video and they're like, oh, my God, what is this? Oh, my God. Uh, and they're all scared and trembling. All right. OK. Basic thing about calling the cops. Let me tell you something. The cops ain't going to do nothing, man. But 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 pass out, man. Have a heart attack or something. All right. Because this is be like I said before, this is beyond us. This is beyond the human race. <laughs> OK. Whole nother level. All right. So it says, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So the so-called UFO came down and beamed who you call, who the world calls Jesus, Yahweh Shai, beamed him up. Verse 10. And while they looked steadily fast toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. So an angel appeared, okay? Because it tells you in the scriptures, okay, that, that the angels not only... The angels can transform, man. It's a, they're they're extraterrestrial, man. Extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial beings. So two angels appear in the likeness of a man. Okay. So two men stood by them in white pearl, which is the angels. Okay. Which also said, "You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, Yahusha." which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he left in the chair. Okay. He got beamed up by the UFO, so-called UFO. He's going to come back the same way he left. Meaning when he make his entrance, his epic entrance into the world, his second coming, he's going to invade with, with, um, he's going to invade with, which the white man calls <coughs> Slaka. The white man calls UFOs. Okay? He's going to invade this realm, man. All right? So right there, as you see. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Oh, oh. Did it say he shall come in like manner as you seen him leave? He left in the cloud, which is the chariots. Okay? So behold, he cometh with clouds. So he going to come in like manner. Okay? So start at the beginning and read all the way through. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. That's why I named the video this. And every eye shall see him. Okay? Now, people around the world, like you see those videos, they're seeing the angels, but the Lord is not with the angels yet. So the Lord, the Most High, okay, is allowing the angels to appear here and there, and allowing these people to capture, to to capture it on their cell phones, okay, just as a sign, man, okay. But it's a sign. The the ones who are awake, okay, the Israelites, the ones who are coming back to the truth, and understand that it's crucial that you come back. OK, those are the ones who are going to understand this sign. So when they so when they see it, they're going to be joyful in their heart. OK, they're going to have joy and going to be smiling to themselves because why? 
they know that it's a sign for their salvation. They know that it's close by the signs of the prophecies, the things that's going on, the wars, the rumors of wars. They understand what time it is. But the ones who don't understand and are asleep and believe in this world, they go, ah, ah, shoot them, shoot them. They're going to be in a panic, frantic spirit, man. <laughs> As you see, uh, as you see in the video, okay? So it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. All right? Now, you see where it says, and all, I mean, where it says, and they also which pierce him. Now, I said earlier, I wasn't going to get into the reincarnation, but I'm going to just throw a little bit out there. Why are they which pierce him? going to see him if he's coming at the end of the world meaning during during our generation during this time as the prophecies show that he's coming during this time period okay we don't know what day we don't know what hour but we know he's coming the signs are showing he's at the door so how are those which pierced him okay all those years ago two thousand years ago when he got crucified a roman soldier pierced him on his side how is he going to see him in this time because America ain't nothing but Roman, uh, uh, ain't nothing but the Roman Empire all over again, man. It's those same spirits. That's why when, when uh, Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus, that's why uh, who the world calls Jesus, okay? That's why when he told the disciples that you should not only prophesy and be a witness for me here in Israel, Jerusalem, Samaria, okay? But also to the uttermost part of the earth, because those same prophets were going to die on that side of the world. OK, but they were going to come. Their spirits were going to come back in this time period. That's why the men of the Lord across the globe are able to now get the, a fuller understanding and able to prophesy. OK, and actually get deep in these scriptures and tell you what those people are seeing in those in, in these videos. And what you might see yourself. Okay? So you might understand what you are seeing. And if you don't understand, if you still don't get it, then hey, it's not given to you from the Heavenly Father as a gift to understand to get it. Okay? You're just going to think like people on the comic boards think. Oh, it's lanterns. It's, it's, it's anything but God. It's anything but the high power. Okay? Which is how, which is exactly how an atheist would think. All right. So uh, keep reading. All kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Right. They're gonna be in a horrible case. Their spirit is gonna be crawling, man. Okay. They're gonna be very upset in their spirit, man. They're gonna be very troubled because the sight that they're gonna see once the Lord comes down with the angels. It's going to be horrific to them. Man. They're not going to be able to perceive fully what's going on. So it's just going to be basically just a total, total frantic, panicky, heart attack spirit. Man. <laughs> because you got to think about the energy the Lord is going to bring with him from a whole nother realm. He's going to bring that energy down here. That's why it tells in the scriptures that. It's going to be a great shaking. It's going to be a, a, a great trumpet, a great noise. Okay? A great quake. Earthquakes all around the globe, man. The earth is going to rattle, go back and forth. Because the power that he's bringing, the energy that he's bringing from a whole other realm is going to shake the world, man. Okay? And the inhabitants, the people under him are going to tremble. All right? So I'm going to go from there. Uh, to Psalms um, 68 verse 17 because when I read in the last scripture Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 it says uh, let me go back to it real quick it says behold he cometh with clouds per plural meaning he's coming with many chairs okay more than one so Psalm 68 17 is going to tell you how many on top of, you know, it's going to be really without number, okay? But let's read 68, Psalm 68, verse 17. The chariots of God, the chariots, which angels are within them chariots, okay, of God, and those angels are 
a coal of fire, a flaming fire, a burning lamp. Okay. The chairs of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. And the Lord is among them in the holy place. Thousands of angels, man. Thousands and thousands and thousands. That's why people are going to uh, uh, panic. And that's why it says every eye shall see. Because it's going to invade throughout the whole planet Earth. All right. It's going to totally invade. All right. And people are going to know that something epic is happening. OK. They're going to know that it's going to be obvious to their eyes. All right. Some are going to be happy because they've been waiting because the Lord has revealed to them before he came that he was coming. And they were waiting. And then the other people are going to get caught like a thief. Like it says in the scriptures, the Lord comes like a thief in the night. Because they wouldn't wait. They weren't preparing. They wasn't looking for the Lord. Okay. All right. So read that again. The chariots of God of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. So that proves right there. It says, behold, he coming with clouds. Right. He's coming with thousands and thousands of them, man. So when you go back to when the disciples saw him get beamed up, when the cloud took him, when the chariot took the Lord out of the sight and the angel stood by them and said, why are you gazing to heaven? The same Lord you saw leave, okay, shall come in like manner. The same way he left, he's going to come. He's going to make his entrance. He's going to return. All right. Now let's go to when he returns, is he going to be happy? Is he going to be, is he going to be passing out lollipops and flowers and going to tell the white race how good of a job they have done ruling the world? No. Let's go to Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, uh-oh, like a whirlwind to render his anger. He's angry with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will he, will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain, the dead, death of the Lord shall be many. So that when the Lord come back and crack the sky and come with what those people are seeing um, in the video, he's going to get busy and a lot of people are going to die because it's going to be their judgment. OK, because this world is wicked. man. This world is not about truth. They're about the world. They're about Satan. OK, they're about anything that makes them feel good, even if it's wicked. All right. So the ones who have woken up, be thankful, be thankful and thank the most high because you can't thank them enough. All right. But thank the most high day in and day out that he has woken you up in his truth and you pray that he keep you in his truth and keep you in the right path. In this narrow path. All right. Because like it says. It's a fire on the left. It's a deep water on the right man. Okay. So be be thankful. That you understand. That you have a chance. To endure to the end. All right. Because it says. He that endure to the end. In his faith. Shall be saved. All right. It's our jobs. Okay. It's, it's the man. In this world. That has woken up. It's our job. To teach our people this. Okay. To give them something to hope for, because look where you're at. You're in you're in the white man's wicked, the so-called white man's wicked kingdom, man. Which is no hope if you're depending on him. It's no hope if you're depending on your own people, which are wicked themselves. You have to depend on a higher power, and that power name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, and he's coming, and it's close. All right. With that, I want to say. The water, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, forgive me the spirit to do this video. Double honors again to the elders that rule well, man. That rule well. Respect your elders, man. The elders are great millstone. Those men has labored for years and years and years, man. Okay? And have done the work. Okay? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And those that are disres and those men that are disrespecting those elders, man, the Lord is going to judge you, man. And it's going to be a harsh judgment, man. OK, and Shalom to you brothers out there that's doing this truth, that's doing this word. Stay strong. The Lord is close. He's at the door. 
And to you women, okay, that are trying your best and you believe in this word, okay, and you're humbling yourself as a woman, keep it up. Because women will be saved in this salvation as well, okay? So keep doing uh, what you need to do, all right? And shalom. Look. Look, y'all. Another one. Those are aliens. Those are aliens that come in the same area. The same area. Look at that. That is, those are aliens coming down here, y'all. Look at, it's coming down the same direction. Oh, it's breaking up. Oh, it's six, it's eight, it's nine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, look, look at that. They stop. They stop. Look at that shit. Those are aliens. Sorry, I'm trying to record it. Aliens! Oh Aliens! Oh, they cut the lights off. Aliens! Oh, they cut lights off. Y'all need to be shooting that! Y'all need to be shooting this shit right here! And they just cruising. They looking at us! They dividing! They dividing up! We getting invaded! Those are not for look at that shit! They are sitting! Y'all need to be calling damn news! They come down to the oh, they come to earth! They're coming to Earth. Oh, they're coming faster. Oh, shit. Look, they fly towards each other. They fly to, oh, my God. Look, they moving in for formation. They just standing there. Officers, do something about that. Y'all not going to do nothing. Oh, shit.